All right, YouTube, it's time to talk about the YouTube Heroes program, which I didn't want to talk about because for me it's a non-issue. I'll explain why, but people keep telling me I need to make a video on the subject, so I'll, I'll accede to your wishes and explain why I don't care about this program one way or the other. I can understand the immediate idea is, oh, well, it'll be censorship. I don't think so. I think the program's doomed from the get-go because specifically they're allowing anybody to sign up for it. It's not like the deputy program, it's the basic concept of the deputy program, which was implemented and it worked fine. People late 2015 when it was announced, the deputy program was looked upon by people who have, let's say, fringe political ideologies. Uh, and they said, well, pretty soon there will be nothing but lamestream content on YouTube because the people here are basically, they're being paid to go around and get rid of content that the government doesn't like, that some religion doesn't like, or something like that. It's not mainstream enough or ad revenue friendly enough. It's too edgy, too many swear words or something. And it never happened. All of those channels that were complaining about it are literally still there. I can't think of a single one that was removed. Uh, I believe Monograph talked about this, Dabu7, their channels are still there. They were wrong about the deputy program negatively impacting them. Uh, really, uh, this shit about ad revenue impacts channels like that a lot more, I think, because of the content that they post. But the YouTube Hero program, uh, first and foremost, I think, as I said, it's probably doomed. Because the fact that they're allowing anybody to use it means that people who, you know, they don't have an established presence, you don't know whether necessarily they really care whether your, uh, their channel gets deleted, might grab this, uh, use this program for ill reasons, go and mass flag people they don't like on a political or religious basis. Now, if those people especially are YouTube partners like I am, they're shielded from it. It's not going to affect us. It's not going to affect my channel if somebody false flags a thousand of my videos. They'll get reviewed. They'll find no offending content. The person will be removed from the Heroes program, and their account ends up being the one that gets destroyed. So it'd be like a minefield trying to misuse it. The problem, I think, uh, ultimately will boil down to the fact that YouTube's going to get, you know, a couple orders of magnitude more reports in for at least a brief time period, thus overwhelming the actual moderators. One thing people have to realize, this doesn't allow any random user to take your videos down. What it does is allow them to flag them. But you can already flag anybody's videos that you want. Nothing changes. The only difference is you can do it en masse. And the only purpose of that that I can think of is a person's channel is specifically there only to abuse other people or all it is is like, you know, a spam porn channel or something like that. And thus it makes more sense to let somebody flag, you know, a hundred of their videos at a time just so it gets knocked offline quicker. And I can understand that. In principle, it's a good idea. What I wish YouTube would have done, I think this would have made more sense, is only allow people across a certain subscriber threshold who have been on YouTube for a certain amount of time and who are partners and or verified use this. I think that would have been the better way to do it because people with an established presence on YouTube aren't going to fuck around with the YouTube Heroes program and endanger their own channel. It's just not going to happen, especially if the person's making money indirectly or directly through YouTube. They're using AdSense. They do, or they do what I do, portray on, and I talk about my books here. People buy them sometimes when they're my subscribers. You think I'm going to abuse the YouTube Heroes program and potentially get kicked off YouTube? It's never going to happen. And I probably wouldn't use YouTube Heroes anyway, to tell the truth. I'm too busy making content to really worry about people's abusive comments or whatever. Another thing you've got to understand is that once the novelty wears off, the untold thousands of people that probably will at first use this, some of them will get banned very quickly within the first day or two because they'll attempt to abuse it, or they're too stupid to know exactly what they're supposed to be flagging. They'll try to force flag things out of their way, they'll get kicked off, maybe their channel gets removed and they rage quit. After a while, when the novelty wears off, though, it'll become a vestigial program. It won't be fun. Uh, the idea of, oh, well, you'll get to test out new features on YouTube quicker than other people. That novelty is going to wear off pretty damn quick. It'll be like the deputy program. Probably half the people that signed up for that once they got the invite never carried through with it. And half of the rest probably petered out over time. They get less and less active. That's what typically happens with some, such a partition on a site, unless it's intrinsic to the site itself. I don't see it going anywhere. The reason why I'm not concerned thus is twofold. 
Number one, if anyone tries to fuck around with this program, it's probably them that gets kicked off. They're not actually removing anybody's content, they're flagging it. But if you flag somebody improperly, you've already got a problem. You, you can already get kicked off of YouTube for false flagging somebody's material. That's uh, itself a breach of terms of service. Whereas if the person's material isn't offending, they're not in breach of the terms of service. Anybody that thinks that this is going to lead to a massive flagging war is only right in the sense that you'll get a lot of dunces that very quickly will sign up for this program and attack one another on a political or religious basis and get themselves banned. And number two, if somebody were to specifically target my content, I'm a YouTube partner. And YouTube tends to take YouTube partners' channels a bit more seriously, with an enormous now viewer base uh, pulling in you know, over a million views every month. So I don't think YouTube is just randomly going to kick somebody off that's driving that sort of traffic, much less, by the way, some of the other people that are concerned about this. You've got Malnu or, or Ramsey Paul or somebody like that, or Dabu7. Some of these people have 10 times as many subscribers as I do. I don't think they have anything to worry about. PewDiePie appears to make some video about this in a sort of half-joking way. He seems to be pissed off at the existence of such a program without really caring too much. And that's essentially where I stand. Uh, who gives a fuck? It's not going to mean anything. Long term, it's going to be a drop in the bucket of actual number of users using it. Probably nobody towards the end because YouTube to its great chagrin, might find out that a lot of people just use it in order to abuse its functions, in which case it doesn't actually serve a purpose. And you can bet that extremely politically and socially motivated people probably will do that. They will purposely attempt to use this application specifically to clutter it up so badly that it gets taken back down because they don't want that kind of censorship. And I will say this, it is technically censorship, but the thing is, the sort of content that's going to be targeted is already against the rules of YouTube. The censorship is already there. This is simply a mass flagger, which predominantly is going to be only capable of being used for videos. So if you got like no videos, you just comment. You just have an account to be able to watch like the over 18 shit or something. You, know, you watch lesbians kissing or something like that. Or if you're a content creator, you don't really comment on anybody and you don't even talk about edgy topics. You got nothing to worry about. If you're a YouTube partner, you probably don't care because you're already protected. Uh, anybody else, okay, well, maybe you get flagged at some point. So simply in, instead of calling somebody a fucking retarded moron or something like that. Use some other sort of language if you're that worried about it. And yeah, YouTube is a bunch of adults at this point. It's no longer like the tween site or anything like that. I do think that perhaps YouTube should scale back uh, really the ferocity uh, of, its <laughs> of its censorship. I do think, for example... Uh, some of the classifications of material, like the dis disgusting, like gory material. Why can't it be on here? We're all adults for the most part here. Who cares? It's not like uh, people can't see that if they go to their local butcher shop or something like that. Uh, you know, sexual content. Well, you know, how are you exactly defining it? Because there are certainly artistic videos so-called on YouTube or childbirth videos, full nudity and so forth. Uh, I'm not really understanding why, you know, consensual adult activity to at least like a soft X degree is banned on YouTube at this point when it's not really kind of porn anyway. Uh, but yeah, I can understand why people would be upset about the YouTube hero stuff, but it really, it's not that much different from the deputy program. It's probably going to be misused to some degree and those people will get kicked off of it really quick. And you've got to remember, above all else, the reason why I'm not concerned those doing the flagging are already capable of doing so without the YouTube Heroes stuff. It's just they can flag multiple videos or whatever at once. It doesn't give them any additional power. They can't take your videos down, only YouTube can. I don't think there will be that many people who really have the time or the inclination to simply rove across YouTube when many people just use it as a jukebox or something to that degree anyway. Uh, to actually rove around YouTube and go through years and years of old comments just to find dirt in order to flag it. Okay, maybe there will be a few Dolores Umbridge-style individuals who take it upon themselves to conduct some sort of daily holy crusade on YouTube for the glory of, of keeping the site clean. 
more content is uploaded than even 10,000 people could possibly reasonably comb through at any given time. It's just not going to happen. YouTube's going to remain dirty. It's going to remain somewhat offensive and politically incorrect. And there's really nothing that YouTube itself can do about that short of shutting the site down. When they come to this realization that it's a site comprised of adults, that it's a site largely comprised of people who want to use it as an avenue specifically to speak about things they might not necessarily speak about in, in company with others in real life, then they will finally realize the true power of YouTube. Sometimes, I think Google doesn't even realize the full power of its own video platform, specifically because they treat it like it's still like 2010 or something like that. Like, oh, well, we've got to get some of this edgy content off. They're like grindcore videos on YouTube that applaud rape and everything else under the sun. They don't get flagged down. All they are is like gurgling screams, and the cover art usually is somebody getting disemboweled. Some of those videos have been there for five or six years. I don't really think there's going to be that much of a problem with the YouTube Heroes program. And if there is a big problem, so many people are going to make such a big stink about YouTube Heroes that it'll probably get removed anyway. Problem solved. That's about all. Peace out.